Hello and welcome to another review. Tonight we will be looking at Princess Suzuka or Suzuka Hime from Mugen no Frontier Super Robot Tizen OG Saga. Now of course this means Super Robot Wars and the Endless Frontier. I think Mugen means fantasy. But anyway, Suzuka is a character, a main character main and playable character from from the game. She is a an Oni princess who uh, joins Kavi and Nanbu and others on a quest to save the world. Now, I'm sure a lot of you remember my review of Kavi and Nanbu uh, some some time ago and she, and uh Kagi is actually advertised on this side of the box along with Ashin Brodel I, I almost bought this at uh, on AmiAmi Ami, but uh somebody got to a, somebody got to her for somebody got to her first it was for like 30 bucks she was for like 30 bucks too I got this from eBay it cost me more and it was from a Japanese, in my defense, it was from a Japanese seller. So I think, I think it should be okay. I checked around the box, couldn't find a, an official sticker or anything. But somehow I trust it. Again, it's from a seller uh, somewhere in Kyushu. So all I can do is hope for the best and... Hope it's not a fake. I mean, it doesn't look fake. I mean, it comes with an interchangeable face, two fans, and uh, a platform. So, let's get to it. All right, so Suzuka's out of the box. And so far, she looks great. I love, I love the outfit. Blue and gold, very nice. I also like her blue hair with the bells on and you look at her face she has a horn so she is an oni princess yes horn and ears as you can see she comes with two fans one of them is already in her, her hand as you can see here and she does come with a a second fan that goes in her hand like so I don't want to break this. I'm, I'm always afraid of these things because I'm always worried that an incident might happen. Okay, so her fan is in her upper hand, and I think it looks really cool. This um, I think the uh, effect here, that's a nice touch, and it's see-through plastic. I wish I could spin her around, but as you can see, I don't have the space for that. And, uh, everything else looks good. I like the design on her, her ankles, and I like the, sa I like the, I like the sandals. Th uh, those are perfect for the whole party girl theme. And you know, in on the bat on the battlefield, she actually fights with this uh, giant, uh, this this giant blue robot with guns and everything. And I think that's really cool. Um, I know the game was only on on Nintendo DS, but I wish I wish there were more games for it, you know, or at least uh, have her make an appearance in one of the Project Cross Zone games. That would be awesome. Oh. Another thing is, she comes with an interchangeable face that I'm going to try to apply right now. Alright, so, a lot's been going on with this. I had to remove the hair. The hair does come off, as well as the, fa well as the face. And, uh, pieces of the hair. Ha! <laughs> Wow. Now, you may remember 
see this feature on Kaguya, as well as many Figmas and many SH Figure Arts figures that I've unboxed and reviewed on here. Let me just put this face on. And it was not easy to get get the first get the first face off. Absolutely not easy at all. But her face looks good. Oh, Suzuka's face looks good. Now, another thing I wanted to point out is that her skirt her skirt actually does come off, but I that's uh proving a little difficult for me. I think it might this one this one might have been in the box ever uh since 2008 because according to the bottom of the platform that's when this figure came out so let me just put these pieces in i think wait this one goes right here and this one goes on the right of her face. Let me see if I can put this in. Wow. Okay, a lot. Wow. Okay, I think first thing, first things first. This goes off. And then I just fit the hair piece here. Yeah, just snap them in even though I didn't hear a snap yet. Let me just put this on. Wow. And let me just put the uh, fans back in her hand. Oh man, I hope I don't break nothing. Hold on. Wait, I think I almost got it. Um, the hole for this is actually over here. For the fan, it's over, it's over here. I hope I can fit this in the right way. There. No, wait, there. Okay. This is not easy. Okay, everything is assembled once again. And, you know, to tell you the truth, with her, uh, tongue sticking out she looks a lot cuter so I think I'm gonna leave leave the way it is now I know that when you uh, take if you take the skirt off it's supposed to reveal her panties which are black I mean she may look young but she's actually centuries she's actually centuries old that's how it is with a lot of um, only women I only women Makes sense. Oni are pretty much demons or, or something. Demons or ogres or something. And they live... They live for many, many years. So, so yeah, she's an Oni. Yes, she's an Oni. And with this platform, she's supposed to connect to uh, Kaguya Nanbu. Um, I actually... brought Kaguya Nambu out because I knew I would need her for this video. Sorry, I'm just having precision on revealing her. Here's So here's Kaguya and there's Suzuka. You know, Suzuka actually looks um looks a little shorter than the other characters, or maybe that's just just because she's posing. Either way, I'm glad I added, finally added Suzuka to my collection. 
all that's left is Ashin Brodel. And wow. Oh man. There's a lot. There's a lot to work out here. There's just so much to work. So much to work out here. Okay. Now from what I understand, the platform is supposed to go like this. And I don't know if this piece is supposed to connect the two. I'm gonna figure that out, but I, I would love to have uh, Ashen, Ashen Brodel as the final piece to this circle and then have them all connected and then just spin them all around. Yeah, that would be really cool. <laughs> that would be really cool, it would be a really cool addition. And I figure since it's November, I should bring out Suzuka. I don't, I don't know, just some, just some, concept I've thought about ever since I was 11. I just need to figure this part out because it's here for a reason and Suzuka never came with any instructions. So I'm going to find someone else who also owns Suzuka to get more information on how she works and how to get this skirt off of her. So that white thing you saw that does connect that does connect the platforms i don't know if you can see it that good but yeah so yeah two princesses Have been, have been connected. I think I think what I'm gonna do is keep them that way. And as for Ashen, maybe I'll maybe I'll get her around the holiday season. If if I if I can find her at a at a good deal, then I'll get her. If she shows up used on on Ami Ami or any or Mandarake, I will get her. And same with Solaris Japan. She's on if she's on Solaris Japan, I'll, I'll buy her. So, yeah. Um, that's the review. Thank you for watching. And you know, um, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I might, and since I really don't have much family aside from my parents, I might I might post another uh, another video. Who know? I don't know, but right now I have to I have to make some pumpkin pies. So now that's been said. Thank you for watching. Pound that subscribe button and make sure you ring that bell. Ring it loud. See ya.